To the east of South Africa lies the Kingdom of Swaziland, one of the oldest inhabited places on Earth. Babane is the kingdom's capital and largest city. It's a city that's alive with traditions, alive with commerce. A pleasant place to live in, in that there is very little crime. Everyone there has got very good will for their next person. It is a very comfortable place to live in. The greatest challenge that we face is a silent killer that not only threatens the future of Mbabane, but the very existence of Swaziland as a whole. HIV <laughs> In this area, there are so many orphans and vulnerable children. You find that their parents, all of them are dead of the virus, the HIV and AIDS. Pilagam, Lumpanamon, Nankabang, Wabulang, Ulam, Manjege, Angatikelo mpana kuguti, abu na oye na, noma kana o, mwa pera bantu ada basi. We'd been building a great relationship with uh, Fort Worth, and when we learned that we had been selected to be part of the African Urban Poverty Alleviation Program, we knew it was a great opportunity to fight the challenges facing Babane. I would like to introduce to you uh, our delegates from Fort Worth, Sister Cities International. relationship is like a marriage. All Sister Cities relationships are. We, we want it to last a long time. We don't want to just come, get to know someone, and then leave and, and start a different relationship. You want to go back. You want to see your friends again. You want it to last a long time, a lifetime. Our assessments with the local community leaders revealed how the HIV AIDS epidemic has devastated the lives of the community. The idea surfaced from them of combining many of their needs into one facility. We were very excited and we felt this was a sustainable way to use our $115,000 to serve the most people by building a community health and social center. <laughs> 